Hello and welcome to Baby Fingers, the show that I took a vote on whether or not you should call Baby Fingers and the answer was unanimously kinda confusing. But never fear, just like any great democracy, your votes are actually worthless and don't matter. That said, welcome to Custard of Love. Everybody loves custard. Got the body for some love custard. I'm Lyle McDouchebag with Destructoid and I have to report the news on video games to distract me from the screaming anger in the core of my soul. Final Fantasy XV is is getting multiplayer. If you've got the season pass, the beta starts uh, today, actually. You can customize your own Final Fantasy cute boy and have a personalized boy experience like no other. Dragon Quest XI got confirmed for release in the West. It's coming out sometime in 2018 and you filthy fucking round eyes better buy it. I don't put myself out there for Chinese cartoon games much, but this is legitimately exciting for me. The characters Dormammu and Firebrand are confirmed to return for Marvel vs. Cap Com Infinite. The game that, might I remind you, is not going to include any X-Men because apparently nobody knows who they are. Look, I will also say any kind of stupid shit for Mickey Mouse money, okay? I get it. Guild Wars 2 announced a new expansion called Path of Fire. The expansion will feature new story content, five new open world zones, nine new elite specializations, and new mounts, including a goddamn Velociraptor. BioWare Montreal, the company responsible for the human rights violation known known as Mass Effect Andromeda, has merged with EA Motive, which is the EA division currently working on Star Wars Battlefront 2, as well as a yet undisclosed new game. Who else is excited for more video games of quality from the Mass Effect Andromeda team? I know I am. I know I'm... Excited. Overwatch's Summer Games event returns August 8th. It'll feature new skins as well as another opportunity to get the old ones from last year. Also, you can buy them with in-game currency this time, so it's not quite as, uh, you know, bullshit. This has been a very slow news week, so I'm about to say some words that might or might not mean anything to you. Mistborn Birthright has officially been cancelled. But never fear, the developers are now working on unsung story, Tale of the Guardians. One thing that these games have have in common is that finding any evidence that in-game assets have ever existed for either one is nearly fucking impossible. If there was so much as a proper trailer for either one, you'd be looking at that right now instead of... instead of this. GameStop is going to be open on Thanksgiving this year. Is it news? Not really. But if any of you like to volunteer at a soup kitchen or something, can you maybe try to, you know, bring a plate? To your local GameStop. This is, this is actually sad. All right, let's top off Custard of Love with some anime titties. Or top off some anime titties with some Custard of Love. There's a game series called Senran Kagura. It's not porn, Dad, I swear, and it's rapidly expanding into a multimedia empire. Like a sensual amoeba of aggressive TNA. Products announced include the next entry in the mainline series, Senran Kagura 7 Evan, uh, and then a bunch of Japanese words that translates roughly to girl's happiness as well as a PlayStation 4 remake of the 3DS classic Senran Kagura Burst. Also, mobile games for iOS and Android, and Nintendo Switch games, which includes a jiggle physics-based pinball spin-off, as well as a massage-centric visual novel that utilizes the Joy-Con's HD rumble to... touch things. I'm Lyle McDouchebag, this has been a thing which you can touch with your soul. We'll be back next week with new names, new news, old socks, but new shoes. Stay slippery, my friends.